the moment you do a bad deed, straight away follow it with a good deed. Allah will wipe it away. Allah will wipe your bad deed. Sorry guys, I have to stop this guy here. The video, this video is very funny, extremely funny. I uh, advise you to share it with your friends because soon you will see and you will hear hilarious things. You will not even believe it. However, in here he just said, in Islam they believe if you do a bad deed, you follow it with good deed right away. So, a Muslim he can rape a woman, all right, and then he donate to a poor man and that will make him forgiven for his bad deed. This is a very uh, dangerous logic, very stupid logic because you can always guarantee your deed to be uh, deleted, I mean the bad ones, by doing just a good thing right away after what you do the bad thing. Uh, uh, so what kind of logic this logic is? How you can uh, delete my bad behave by doing a good deed? That is a very stu stupid, naive and dangerous one because now I can go and cut the neck of somebody and then I save the life of somebody. And that will make me a good person, as if I did not kill anyone yet. Which is a contradiction even for many things uh, uh, the Quran said. Uh, so the teaching of Islam is nothing but a contradiction and a series of endless lies coming from a false prophet. And the coming stories right now, I advise you to listen carefully. And this is why I'm saying you should share this video everywhere. This is a hilarious video. I advise you to share it. Listen carefully what this guy will say next. Wait. The moment you're doing a bad deed, like so, you know, some brothers they sin and they feel bad about it and they go down and then they think, oh my God, oh, no, Lilla, why have I done this? They tear themselves apart. You know, if you've done a sin, the best thing is to do what? Is say, okay, I've sinned. Shaitan got me. You got me once? Hey, I'm going to get you three times now, bro. I'm going to eat three times. I'm going to go do my wudu. I'm going to go and do my rakats. I'm going to do my salat toba. I'm going to say to all... And look, what is the good deed suddenly? It's not even going something good. It's just to do uh, to clean your hands and pray. So uh, I thought about doing good deeds. Suddenly the good deed is just to pray. Amazing. Isn't it your prophet who said, if you recite the 90 names of Allah, your sin will be forgiven? Isn't it your prophet who said, when you kiss a black stone, your sin will be sucked? Isn't it your prophet who said, that if you go around the Kaaba, Allah will, will cleanse your sin as if you are a baby? So obviously this is always a lie. Allah, you know Allah, forgive me. And then I'm going to say, you know what? Get the shaitan back again. Let me open the Quran. Let me read some Quran. Hey man, that shaitan probably kicking his legs on the ground by now. Yeah? Then get up and do the adhan or something. Then shaitan will, I'll tell you, I'll be on the, Hadith of Tirmidhi says, it says, yeah, when you give the adhan, the shaitan, he not only runs, but the hadith says, lahu durat. You know what durat is? Durat is, he runs and as he's running, yeah, his fart comes out. Lahu durat. I'm not making this the hadith. So you, that shaitan made me do sin. Uh, you, you notice he keeps saying this is hadith, which means don't don't think I am the stupid one. This is what my prophet said. The prophet of Islam, he said that when a Muslim, they are called for a prayer, shaitan, he do fart and he do that so he don't hear the prayer call. This is how stupid this religion and this is what they teach in their mosque. And this is why we end with people who they are suicide bombers. If somebody believe in such a garbage, why he would not believe if he die for the sake of the virgins, which mean to Allah, he will get the virgins. This is the level of intelligence we are talking to. You can imagine right now who is listening to this person. What kind of people they will get out of this mosque. Shaitan, he fought when Muslims they pray, which means each time Muslims pray, Shaitan fought, and each time fought, Shaitan fought, Muslims pray. Which means there's a connection between the fart of Shaitan and the word of Allah. Isn't it amazing? And why Shaitan fought? Because he didn't want to hear the prayer. And today the Muslim they use the speakers, so I don't know how the, how, how the fart will help. And how come we cannot hear the fart? Obviously the fart is something will make noise to overcome the noise, which means it's from the same nature of the noise. It's not going to be different noise. So how come Shaitan he hear the prayer, but we don't hear his fart? Oh, only Muhammad have a special ears, maybe. Let's continue. Ah, oh, get up! Yeah, just get up. Just give the adhan, 
right? That shaitan, you're gonna make him, you're gonna make him leak some serious gas. Serious gas. He won't be coming near you for some time. Now don't feel bad about, you know, you're human being end of the day. Serious brothers, sisters. You know, you're human being end of the day. If he knocked you down once, you knock him down three times. And listen to the ahadith like your first, you know what the deen is about. The deen is about getting the shaitan away from you. So you know, you go into the toilet, you know, Bismillahi Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al-khubuthi wal khabaith. So Allah protect me from these devils. You, you go in there with your left foot. The left foot you went in, you get a reward for that. The dua you... Listen carefully. When you enter the bathroom, you have to enter with your left foot. Which means there is a danger is going to, uh, to happen to you if you enter with the right foot. Let me play this again. Just to show you the madness of Muhammad and his followers. You, you go in there with your left foot. The left foot you went in, you get a reward for that. Right the dua you said, shaitan will not see you. You're in the toilet, shaitan can't see you anymore. That's in a hadith, right? If you don't... It's in the hadith, remember. So if you if you enter with the, right, with the left foot and you say the prayer, it will become invisible for shaitan. Isn't it amazing? Isn't it really amazing? I will make a, a very serious comment about this after we listen to all of this again. I don't want to disturb you from listening and laughing again. Uh, I will make a comment at the end. The dua you said, shaitan will not see you. You're in the toilet, shaitan can't see you anymore. That's in a hadith, right? If you don't say the dua, if you don't say the dua, what happens is the shaitan not only comes inside, but the hadith of Tibni says he plays with your bowels. He plays with the bowels. So you're inside there, you're thinking you're going to be out there in five minutes. He's taking you 20 minutes and you're still not halfway there. You know why? Because Uncle Shaitan is going, ooh, ooh, la la. <laughs> See, the hadith told us, the hadith says to us, he plays with your bowels. Yalla abu, yalla abu, he plays with the bowels. So you say the dua, Allah protects you. All right. You see how, how crazy this religion is? According to them, according to Muhammad, and this is why he says, this hadith says, hadith says, which means I'm not the one who's making things up. It is the Prophet who said that, so don't think I am the stupid one. So if you enter the bathroom with the right leg, or even if you enter with the left leg without saying the prayer, which means you have to enter with the left leg, and you say the prayer, then you will be invisible for shaitan. However, if you are not doing that, shaitan will go and play with your anus, even he will go inside your anus. And he is going to block your anus. And that will cause you a very hard time that's why he said you might stay there for 20 minutes, but shaitan is pushing your poopoo out. I mean up. You push it down, he push it up. Because simply he's there. Uh, in here we will see that terror is existing every step of Islam. Even in the bathroom, Muhammad is terrifying the Muslims. This is the logic of terror. He, he scared the hell of them. You have to follow me. Because if you don't, even when you do poopoo, a bad thing will happen to you. Even when you are in the bathroom, bad things will happen to you. That is terror. He scared the hell of them and those naive people believe in this garbage. So always they will be under the control in their mind of Muhammad. Because even when I go to the bathroom, still you have to do like left foot, like what the left foot had to do with, with the prote protection of God. Are you saying to me, if I say the prayer to Allah, Allah will not protect me if I enter with the right foot? Why? Where he got this from? What the connection with the left foot and the right foot? Are you telling me that the prayer of Allah will not be activated unless I enter with the left foot only? If I enter with the right foot, right foot, the the prayer of Allah is uh, not valid. You see how stupid this religion is. And then he said, when you enter the bathroom with the left foot and you say the prayer, you became invisible. Let me play it for you again. You're gonna make him, you're gonna make him leak some serious gas. Serious gas. He won't be coming near you for some time. Now don't feel bad about, you know, you're human being end of the day. Serious brothers, sisters. You know, you're human being end of the day. If he knocked you down once, you knock him down three times. And listen to the ahadith, like your first, you know what the deen is about. The deen is about getting the shaitan away from you. So, you know, you go into the toilet. 
you know, Bismillah, Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al-khubuthi wal khabais. So Allah protect me from these devils. You, you go in there with your left foot. The left foot you went in, you get a reward for that. The dua you said, shaitan will not see you. You're in the toilet, shaitan can't see you anymore. They say, shaitan can't see you anymore. Listen carefully. So when you say the prayer, shaitan cannot see you no more. Question. What about we see the prayer not only in the bathroom, outside, and shaitan will not see us no more? Why only this prayer will protect us from shaitan? He cannot see me only in the bathroom. He just said, when you do wudu, shaitan will stay away from you and he will fart. What about we say that prayer without the wudu and then shaitan will stay away anyway? He will not be able to get close to us because simply he, we became invisible to shaitan. You see the madness of this religion? We will become invisible for shaitan just because we said Allah protect me from the from the devil. Okay, say it without going to the bathroom. Say it everywhere you go. Your prophet was under the control of the black magic, and obviously none of those prayers are working. Your prophet he said the satanic verses, obviously those prayers is not working because how shaitan not only was able to see Muhammad, he was even to use able to use his tongue to make him recite satanic verses. That is the madness of this religion. I will play the tape again so you can enjoy it without any comment of mine. And I just wanted to uh, make a comment so I can explain things for some people who might open the Quran. not understand. Let me read some Quran. Hey, man, that shaitan is shaitan probably kicking right? his legs on the ground by now. Listen carefully. Yeah? Then get up and do the adhan or something. Then shaitan will, I'll tell you, I'll, I'll be honest. You know, hadith of Tirmidhi says, it says, yeah? When you give the adhan, the shaitan, he not only runs, but the hadith says, Lahu durat. You know what durat is? Durat is. He runs, and as he's running, yeah, his fart comes out. Lahu durat. I'm not making this the hadith. So you, that shaitan made me do sin? Ah, oh, get up. Yeah, just get up. Just give the adhan. Right? That shaitan, you're gonna make him, you're gonna make him leak some serious gas. Serious gas. He won't be coming near you for some time. Now don't feel bad about, you know, you're a human being under the day. Serious brothers, sisters. You know, you're a human being under the day. If he knocked you down once, you knock him down three times. And listen to the ahadith, like, you're first, you know what the deen is about. The deen is about getting the shaitan away from you. So, you know, you're going to the toilet. You know, Bismillah, Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al-khubuthi wal khabais. So Allah protect me from these devils. You, you go in there with your left foot. The left foot you went in, you get a reward for that. The dua you said, shaitan will not see you. You're in the toilet, shaitan can't see you anymore. That's in a hadith, right? If you don't say the dua, if you don't say the dua, what happens is the shaitan not only comes inside, but the hadith of Tibnidhi says he plays with your bowels. He plays with the bowels. So you're inside there, you're thinking you're going to be out there in five minutes. He's taking you 20 minutes and you're still not halfway there. You know why? Because Uncle Shaitan is going, ooh, ooh, la la. <laughs> See, the hadith told us, the hadith says to us, he plays with the bowels. Yalla abu, yalla abu, he plays with the bowels. So you say the dua, Allah protects you. Right? You come out of the toilet, Gufranak, Allah forgive me, you get reward for that. You're going for your wudu, you're going for your wudu, as you're going there, say Bismillah. You get reward for that. Alhamdulillah, it's reward, reward, reward. Right? You made your intention for the wudu, you get reward for that. Allahu Akbar. You like, it's, it's multiplied, Allahu Akbar. You go and wash your hands, you face your feet, my, my sins have been washed there. Yeah. You finish, Ashhadu Allah ilaha illallahu wahdahu la sharika lahu ashhadu anna Muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluh You say that point towards the point towards the sky with your right finger index right index finger Rasulullah sallallahu used to do that Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said sahih hadith he said tuftahu lahu abwaab al-jannah al-thamaniya all eight doors of jannah will open for you you may enter in whichever one you want